Well, various political parties in the Northwest have signed the Code of Conduct and Pledge of the IEC today. The program was held in Mahikeng. The IEC is conducting the program across the country. It says the number of political parties in the province has increased. SABC reporter uh, Tabi Somos and video journalist uh, Selom Hopa are at the event. We are here in Mahikeng in the northwest province where leaders of several political parties have just concluded signing the code of conduct and the pledge as we are heading to the 20, May 29 uh, general elections here in South Africa. And political parties uh, or leaders of political parties are uh, promising that they'll abide to the code of conduct uh, and all the regulations uh, that are governing the elections in the country. But let me speak to the IEC chairperson, Mosotu Mepa, to hear more from him uh, regarding the signing of the code of, co uh, the code of conduct and the pledge in this province. Uh, Mr. Musotum Weber, good morning to you. Welcome to SABC News Channel 404. What is the significance of this event? Several uh, political parties or leaders from several political parties signing uh, the pledge and the code of conduct as we are heading to the elections next month. The, the significance of this code uh, and the signing ceremony is, is to promote um, conduct in an election that is conducive to free political party campaigning and to uphold democratic values at a time such as this. An election is a contest and it can be very uh, gruesome, but there must be a code of conduct that parties and candidates and citizens must, uh, you know, uh, uphold. And this is such a code. This uh, event, we, we, we are meant to promote it. Parties and candidates have already signed when they submitted their candidature to the Electoral Commission. It's part of their candidature um, to, to sign this code and say they'll uphold it. But all of us have a duty to promote it and educate voters, and that's what we are doing. And how many political parties are contesting the upcoming elections in this province? There are 38 political parties in the Northwest contesting uh, elections. Um, there, are, there are no independent candidates here, and as you, you clearly see, um, this is a large number of parties. Uh, voters here can't say they're not spoiled for choices. They have a lot of choice, and there are many voters. So parties must go out um, and convince uh, uh, the citizens in this province to vote for them. Give them good reason to vote for them. And moving away from the province, talking about a matter uh, that is of uh, the national picture concerning the former president Jacob Zuma and his candidacy as uh, the MK party uh, candidate uh, for the upcoming elections. We know the decision from the Electoral Court, but the, I, the IEC is now approaching the Apex Court, the Constitutional Court, for the very same matter. Are you appealing? What is going on there? Well, every election needs to, to result in an outcome that is free and fair. That means that no one who is supposed to contest in an election um, is excluded. But at the same time, no one that, that is supposed to be um, you know, contesting in an election um, is also excluded. And in this instance, the provisions of the law, as we have always understood them, um, and as we have applied them, the court said our interpretation um, is not correct, or it appears the court says so. And it is important. It is important because Section 47.1e has been applied um, since 2009. And on this occasion, the court says um, we have not applied it properly, as we understand it. As you know, there are no reasons. And it is important that if we are to deliver a free and fair election, this matter must be clarified. There's none other than the Constitutional Court to do it. Um, it is not about the former president. It's not about the, the, the MK party. It's about appreciating and understanding the rules, uh, the law as it were in this instance, and applying it um, in the proper manner. 
we, we are not going to court because we, we want to win, because we want to exclude, or because we want to win. We want to go there to obtain the certainty with which we can know that these elections will, at the end of the day, be free and fair because the laws have been applied uh, appropriately. You are saying uh, you might have interpreted the law wrongfully. Does this mean that you have never been in this situation as the IEC? We have not been in the situation where the application of Section 47.1e has been contested and the court found against us. I'll give you an example. Um, in 2009, this very section was used to object to the candidature of, of someone. The court looked at the matter and said, um, we have applied that law properly. In 2019, we have excluded um, a second in charge in a political party on the same basis. In 2024, we have applied that, this very law and we have not been successful in the same way that we have. It raises the question as to whether there is something we need to take into account. And that's really what we seek. None of these other things that, that are being said, we, you know, we are entering the political minefield. It is a constitutional mandate that we have to ensure that elections are free and fair. And this matter goes right to the heart of, of that requirement. That's that and nothing, nothing further than it. Thank you so much. Uh, that's uh, Mosutu Muyepa, the IEC chairperson, talking to us from here in Mahikeng, in the northwest, where political party leaders were signing the code of conduct and the pledge as we are heading to the uh, May elections here in South Africa. Concluding there by answering the matter of uh, concerning former President Jacob Zuma, now that the IEC is approaching the apex court in the country.